Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 16th of September. The local media headlines today. Four men are due to appear in court today following their arrest on board a fishing boat off the coast at Newquay. Border Force officers seized nearly a ton of cocaine. The four are due to appear before Bodmin magistrates. It looks like any new owner of Newquay Airport is going to have to find nearly £5 million a year to keep aeroplanes flying. The local government union Unison says Cornwall Council is facing one of the worst budget deficits of any local authority, faced with cutting services by nearly 8%. A decision is expected within the next few weeks about the public toilets at Poldhu. It looks like they could be handed back to the local parish. Council. And a bit more of Newquay has fallen into the sea, with a cliff collapse at Great Western Beach. The BBC reported how a Falmouth distillery has been granted a licence to offer tasting sessions on the premises. Pocket Full of Stones has been given the go-ahead at its shop in Church Street. Some local councillors fear the move could contribute to antisocial behaviour. The Falmouth packet covered the reopening of the Pier House pub in Charlestown, which was badly damaged by fire last year. Greatest Hits Radio says the government's giving Plymouth £600,000 to repair damage caused by riots earlier this year. The Cornish Times warned of trouble ahead for passengers who use the Gunnys Lake railway line. And finally, Cornwall Live continues the race to get into the Christmas mood with a list of places where you can buy advent calendars. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.